Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's Janeline again and I hope you're having a fantastic day or night wherever you are in the world. If you're new here, welcome. Here we do plenty things. So if that interests you, consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell button so that you're updated with the latest videos. So tonight guys, I'm so excited to do another unboxing and it's one of the rare anthoriums, you guys. And I can't wait to show you how it looks like. So, let's do this! Alright guys, so I got this um, plant from one of the lovely members of the Rare and Unusual Plant Group that I belong to in Facebook. Um, her name is Lilia. So Lilia, if you're watching this, hello. I got the plant, I got the box here. And yeah, uh, I'm going to see how it looks like so yes i got um this anthorium papillilaminum from lilia okay it's like a tongue twister already <laughs> it's like papillilaminum lilia so yeah it kind of like sounds similar isn't it but yeah anyway um i'm so excited to show you how it looks like. So let's open this already. So, um, I've been wanting to have this anthurium for a long time. And when I saw um, Lilia posted it in um, uh, the Rare and Unusual Plant Group uh, Facebook page, it's like, I was thinking like, is it a true, um, Papi because true papi is so hard to find and because there's so many hybrids of papillilaminum it it's hybrid with every almost every anthurium out there so it's like it's so hard to find a real one and then I asked her is this a true papi and she said yes so yeah let's see um, how it looks like and she is so sweet as well so i bought a smaller um version of this plant so that's the first one that she have um posted for sale and then um after i chatted with her she said that she's going to give me the bigger um plant in her collection so how cool is that isn't it and she's so sweet so i said oh my god it's Thank you so much. Okay, so oh my god, look at this. It's so cute. It says thank you. Hope it grows well for you, Lilia. And she have this little um I think it's uh, um monstera. So I'll give you a closer look of this later. And then um this is how she have packet. So it's well packaged and yeah let's remove this um tape here so i'm a bit worried about uh this plant because the weather here in the uk is getting colder again and it's gloomy for two weeks so i was thinking like is the plant okay in the box but she um told me that yes it's going to be safe in the box because uh, she have put um fillings on it and paper so it's going to be safe and i can see it already guys it's so beautiful okay guys so i forgot to mention earlier how beautiful the packaging is it's like she how specially um wrap the box with this um paper and it's so beautiful i love it so it's one of the most uh beautiful package um i've seen from um the plants that i bought and yes let's remove this um paper from the bottom that's protecting the um container of the plant I love it. Let me remove all 
this day so that I can show it to you better. Right guys, so this is how it looks like. So it's still a young plant and so according to Lilia, this is a true puppy. So it's Anthurium papillilaminum and it's a quite rare plant. So like what I mentioned earlier, so there are so many hybrids of this plant that we don't know if it's real, if it's a true um, puppy or just a hybrid. And yeah, um, the Anthurium papillilaminum is endemic in Panama, which means that you can only find it exclusively in Panama originally. And it was discovered by Dr. Robert Dressler which is where the Dressleriae probably um, is um, named after, or not probably, I think that it's named after him. So it's, he's an American botanist, and he uh, found this plant in the Caribbean coastline um, growing on the lowlands in Panama, and then it's... Um, first published um, in science by Dr. Thomas Groth, who's an, another American botanist. And yes, um, this puppy is known for um, its shiny leaves. So that's why it's called a bat butterfly anthurium as well, because of the shiny leaves. So I think it is a real puppy so for those of you who are um, more knowledgeable in anthuriums please tell me um, if this is a true puppy or not but I mean I'm not an expert in anthuriums or or on all the plants I'm just an enthusiast so all I can say is this plant this anthurium is so beautiful and hybrid or true puppy it's still beautiful and i can see the dark leaves so they said um the true puppy have darker leaves so it, the leaves can change in color from dark olive to green to dark green but they said um the darker the leaf is the more rare or more um how do you say it? attractive to plant collectors and it's more expensive as well. So yeah, I think it does have, um, yeah, from what I read as well, I'm just like thinking aloud guys. So from what I read as well, they said the true puppy have like a red violet new leaf. So this does have a reddish leaf and the petio is like, reddish to green so there's green patio here and then there's red patio here as well and then they said the leaf stand erect so which is does look erect to me so it looks good <laughs> it looks um healthy anyway so i can't really say anything else what else can um I say so yeah for those of you who are uh, more knowledgeable about anthuriums like what I mentioned earlier please put a comment down below what you think this plant is is it a hybrid or a true puppy but um, according to my seller um, Lilia that um, it's a true puppy so it's gorgeous gorgeous anthurium anyway and I'm so happy with this one so thank you Lilia for my beautiful anthurium and yeah um that's it guys so i'm going to leave it in um the substrate that it's in at the moment i think it's fine there so it's in an iroid soil mix and yeah they uh, i always said they it's like i read as well 
um, that the roots of the this anthurium papili laminum is quite sensitive it's like it doesn't like to be disturbed and it takes a while to adjust if you disturb the roots so yeah i'll just going to let it be and let it where it is or leave it where it is so yeah i think i've mentioned a lot of stuff already about this plant so uh, that's it for the moment guys and i hope you learn some things i learned some things as well about um this anthurium so thank you so much for watching this video please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and i'll see you again soon on my next video happy gardening